In this video, we'll be looking at the audio player, which is an extension widget from Crocoblock in their Jet Elements plugin for Elementor. The great thing about these elements is you can use them as pro elements in Elementor free, save you a few bucks. This element is perfect if you want to have some audio on your website. You don't want to source it from SoundCloud or some other source. You want to just have it directly on your site something like a podcast, maybe an announcement, a few thoughts. Think of adding a little bit of flair with it to your site. The idea is actually just how it works and how you can style it out. And here are a few examples from the CrocoBlock website. We have a play button on the left. Then we have the time duration, time lapse. And then you have a bar indicating that as well as time remaining, mute and then volume. And then look at all the styling options you have. You'll also note that you can deactivate many of those items. Just have something very simple on your site. In Elementor, I have a nice page here. Grab the audio player under the Jet Elements. Click and drag and I'll drop it there. How you're going to style it out will also depend a lot on whether you're putting it in just a third column, half a column or the entire section. Once you drop it, very unimpressive because you have to bring in an audio file first and you can choose between an audio source that is self-hosted or external. I'll go for self-hosted, which means that the file is within my WordPress library. I'll click here on this little upload and then select the file that I already have here, which is a very, very short little file, I think like two seconds long. But that will give us an idea of how you can work with the audio player. You have these audio options to loop it and start on muted. So when people press play, they will have to unmute it. That could be beneficial if it's a very loud kind of audio or you want to give people that control over the volume. Over here under control options, this is where we can toggle the visibility of all these elements. The progress bar is the one in the middle. Let's see how that looks. Deactivate it, much shorter. You also have playback rate, which is a big feature for people. If I hover over it, you will see you have up to two times faster and a little bit slower as well. I wanted to say that's a great feature for people who are often not native speakers and they want something a little bit slower or for people who don't have the time to listen to a one hour podcast, put it on times two and speed up. Then you have the current time, duration time, volume, hide volume on touch devices, because that's pretty difficult sometimes to work with. And then the volume bar. All of these items can be toggled on or off, except the play button. The volume bar layout is currently horizontal. So if we look here at the volume, you will see that is our volume bar. This one is mute. If I put it on vertical, now hovering over the speaker, you will see that we have that slider. Let's leave it on horizontal. And then you have the start volume at 0.8. That's a good setting. This is independent of the device the person is listening on. So if they put it on full volume on their device and it's still not loud enough, they will have to come here and also increase it to one. And that's all the functionality you get in terms of these items. The rest, all styling. First, you can set the width. And then you can also then decide where you want to align it within that section. I'll select the value and delete to go back to the default state. Then we have the play pause button, and that's the one at the beginning plus the time. Controls over the font size, and you have normal as well as hover states. And if you look here, nothing surprising. This is what Elementor gives you in terms of styling all the time. You've got color, you've got a background color, you've got padding. Let's go to the background color, and I think just to style it to the site we have here. Let me grab this red that I've used over here. Control copy, command copy, and then we go to background color, paste it, and you will see, surprisingly, not the background you were thinking of. You were thinking of the entire section, right? So let's put it back on white. And the first thing I will do is show you where to change the background of the entire audio element. For that, best is to go to advanced, background, and then here, we're going to go for our classic and paste that X code in, and that's how we're going to change it out. Jump back to styling, and let's go to the play, pause button, and time. 
This is the play pause button, the font size, the color, padding margin, border type, as well as box shadow. Then for the time, I think the white is good. No need to mess with that. If we go to the progress bar, we currently have the height and you can change that quite drastically to a very big height. I would think the default was good enough for me, something around 10. Then the background. We have the color over here. And if I change that, you will see that is the amount of progress that is still available. And then go to current progress bar. This is where we will change it to black. And that shows what has lapsed already during the play of this audio file. I don't think you should go too ballistic here. I think how this audio feature is styled out starts off pretty nicely. Go ahead and change the colors, perhaps a few rounded corners here and there. But otherwise, I think it's a really good job in terms of styling. For the volume button, you again have font size as well as a hover interaction if you need that. And then you have the volume slider here, which is currently more or less the opposite of what the progress bar is. And then current volume bar at the very bottom. Total volume, current volume bar, volume slider, total volume bar, and current volume bar. Great pro feature for your Elementor. Make sure to hop on over to Croco Block, link in the description below. From me, JP, see you in the next video.